Yeah, you're going to hear Darren Wilson's uh, testimony as he gave it to the FBI uh, agents for the first time. All right, let's begin. And it starts with the, an FBI agent, and he says, how is he assaulting you? And then Darren Wilson says, the first time he had struck me somewhere in this area, but it was like a glancing blow because I was able to defend a little bit. Um, after that, he, I was doing just scrambling, trying to get his arms out of my face and him from grabbing me and everything else. I thought I was already compromised enough. I drew my firearm. I pointed at him. Stop. I'm going to shoot you is what I ordered him to get on the ground. He said, you're too... We're going to redact that, and we're going to go on when he, and he says, he grabbed my gun, he twisted it, pointed it at me into my hip and my pelvic area. This is the moment that Officer Wilson says he gets out of the car. He's telling the FBI, I exited. I followed him in that direction, the, that would be away from the car. After I said on the radio, shots fired, send more cars. I was yelling at him to stop and get on the ground. Now keep in mind, he has already said he has already shot. These are now more shots to come. He kept running and then eventually he stopped in this area somewhere. When he stopped, he turned, looked at me, made like a grunting noise and had the most intense, aggressive face I've seen on a person. When he looked at me, he then did like a hop, you know, like people do to start running and he started running at me. During his first stride, he took his right hand, put it under his shirt and into his waistband. And I ordered him to stop and get on the ground again. He didn't. I fired multiple shots. After I fired the multiple shots, I paused for a second, yelled at him to get on the ground again. He was still in the same state, still charging hands, still in his waistband. Hadn't slowed down. Hands still in his waistband. He gets about eight to ten feet away and he's still coming at me in the same way. I fired more shots. One of those, however, many of them hit, on, hit him in the head and he went down right there. When he went down, his hand was still under his right hand, was still under his body, looked like it was still in his waistband. I never touched him and um, got on the radio and said, send every car we got and a supervisor.